Once you've installed Node.js and Visual Studio Code, here's how you can get the Infragistix Ignite UI CLI installed. So the first thing is let's go ahead and open up Visual Studio Code. And once you've opened it up for the first time, you should see something like this. You'll note I have a bunch of recent files because I've already been using Visual Studio Code, but this is the welcome page. In order to get to the terminal, which is where you're going to do all of your command line, there's a couple ways to do it. You can go to view and then select integrated terminal or just use the shortcut, which is control plus the apostrophe. So once the terminals open, pops up here on the bottom, you can go ahead and use npm to install the Ignite UI dash CLI and I want to install this globally so I can use it across all of my projects. As a side note, if you type in npm and get an error, that means you don't have Node.js installed. npm is the package manager for dependencies in projects, so you will be using it to install packages, compile your apps, and more using the command line. So what's going to happen is this will go to npm.js, it will grab the Ignite UI CLI package, and it will install it on my machine. Now that it's installed, let's go ahead and check to make sure that the right version was installed. So using the shortcut of IG, I can do a dash V and ask for the version. So this tells me that the Ignite UI CLI version 2.0 is installed, and that's correct. At the same time, since we're here, we should also install the Angular CLI, which is something we'll be using a lot during our Angular development. So the Ignite UI CLI will automatically scaffold and script out Ignite UI packages for Angular, so you can easily follow our wizard to do things like add grids, add charts, add preset views, and then the Angular CLI will just let you do new Angular apps. So let's go ahead and install the Angular CLI as well. So we'll do an npm install, and I want to do this globally as well, and I'm going to say at Angular CLI. So this will do the same thing, go to npm, grab the Angular CLI, and then I will be ready to go. Now that that's complete, you're ready to start building Ignite UI for Angular apps in Visual Studio Code.